Let's bring you another story where a broadcaster with the media general, Captain Smart, uh, was picked yesterday by the National Investigative Bureau. Morning show host of Onua TV and FM, a subsidiary of Media General, Blessed God's Brain Smart, popularly known as Captain Smart, has been picked up by the National Intelligence Bureau, NIB. The media personality was picked up late Wednesday, October 19, 2022, by a team of operatives. It is unclear the reason behind his arrest, but it will be recalled that the broadcaster had been in the news for comments he made recently over President Nane Kufuado's alleged involvement in Galamse. The Ministry of Information, in a statement thereafter, refuted the claims and said that the government was issuing a complaint to the National Media Commission, NMC, and may explore the option of a legal redress. So the update to this story is that he's been released and he was released late last night or Wednesday evening um, after um, the operatives engaged him. But one thing that also people are trying to connect to is the statement he made uh, about the president that the information ministry has refuted. Mm. I mean, when some of these things come up, people are quick to jump onto mm. the whole press freedom and uh, um, freedom of speech yeah. uh, um, line. But for me, I think it's very important to make it clear on this platform that freedom of speech comes with responsibilities. Yes, responsibilities so yeah. if you go making very serious allegations um, claiming that a president is directly involved in illegal mining, I mean, you should have your facts um, with you. If not, then just keep shut. So but you see, this comes down to the fact that as media people, mm. as journalists, uh, the people that have the right or we have the chance by opportunity or the opportunity to be behind the microphones, to be on screens mm. and say or talk to the general public, we have to be sometimes circumspect in yeah. uh, some of the things we say. So it doesn't yeah. cause havoc or mayhem in the community, in, in, in the entire country. Yeah, I mean, very, very, very rightly so. And I mean, in your, in your prelude, you mentioned journalists. I, I think it's very important um, to make the, the separation. I think for people like him, I don't think the right um, um, profession is journalism for them. I mean, if I look at the struggle we go through to put together an editorial and what they also call, some of these broadcasters also call editorial, I struggle well, to you can, believe you, you, you what, can't really what the, what the, what the, what the <laughs> professor really what, what they, they also do. do. What what they do is not an editorial okay. it's an opinion piece okay. and even with that it comes with serious responsibilities we can't neglect so mm -hmm. he who alleges must prove exactly. and if he is going to allege such a uh, serious allegation i think he should come out with his facts if not he should be made to face the full rigors of the law and like i'm saying if he doesn't have the facts to back his claim i think it's quite irresponsible and and the law should be made to deal with him i mean uh, we can't have a country where everybody is just saying what they want i mean that is that is that is gravitating towards mm. anarchy so for me it is irresponsible if he doesn't have his facts but hey let's let's see what the coming days of course have. but i think this this is a caution to us all exactly. as uh, media people um some of the things that we do say on air yeah we just have to be careful of what we say so that yeah, we don't i mean cause, Philip, uh, if i if everywhere. i if i remember the the, the stress really and the struggle I mean, to put together an editorial on the point of view, then somebody somewhere just gets up and also says, well, I'm that, doing an that, editorial. That, I mean, that, hey, that, let's, let's, that you can't let's, really say. 